Hey guys, so today I am going to be doing the Kim Kardashian pin-up hair and makeup look for you. So I started off by just doing a bit of research and this was the picture that I fell in love with. This is a picture that I wanted to recreate and I haven't seen it on YouTube. So we're going to start off with just threading. We need a clean face and no facial hair. Now after I've done my threading I'm going to use my primer by MAC, this is a natural radiance primer and we're going to pop this on our skin just to prime our skin and get it ready for the makeup. Then I'm going to go ahead with my scrub cream and this is, going, this is going to give us like a highlighted look to the skin, more of a dewy look as opposed to completely matte which is exactly what Kim Kardashian had in this photograph. Then I'm going to take my Fast Response Eye Cream and I'm going to pop this underneath my eyes. This will help with the fine lines underneath the eyes and it will help the concealer sit on better as well. I'm using two foundations for you guys today. One's a MAC foundation and one's a drugstore foundation. I'm going to be using my Studio Fix in NC42 to start off with. And then I'm going to be mixing this in with a little bit of the Revlon Photo Ready foundation in caramel just to darken it up a tad because the NC42 is a little bit too light for me. Then we're just going to go ahead and we're going to buff this all into the skin. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start my concealer, so I'm using my MAC brush and I've got all the Pro, Pro Conceal palettes, so I'm going to start off with NW35 to counteract the dark circles underneath my eyes and then I'm going to go in with a slightly dark colour at NW40 which is a shade darker and go around my mouth area as this is highly pigmented and a lot darker and then we're going to go and we're going to brighten the under eyes and we're going to highlight with our NC30. I'm then going to use my NW50 and I'm going to contour with this. So I'm putting this in my, uh, just in my cheekbones to make my cheekbones appear higher. I'm going to put it underneath my chin, around my forehead and temples. And I'm also going to contour my nose for you guys. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to grab a clean brush and we're going to start buffing this out. We really need to buff out all the harsh lines and we don't want anything to look too strong. It needs to be subtle enough but create a big enough difference. And then we're going to go and we're going to blend the contour out in our nose as well. You can use a smaller brush if you wish. And I'm using another brush just to blend out the lighter highlight as well. I'm then going to set my concealer and my foundation. I'm going to start off by using medium, which is about three shades lighter than my natural skin. It's kind of the same purpose as the banana powder. It's going to highlight underneath the eyes. And then I'm going to be using medium dark in the darker areas. So we've got our contouring sorted and also our foundation and concealer is set. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick up my self-made palette that I made and I'm going to pick up handwritten and I'm going to fill in my brows just with an angled brush. This will create more of a soft effect and more of a natural effect. Then we're going to prime our eyes. So we're going to be using 24 hour eye primer by MAC and I'm going to pop this all on my eyelid up to my brow bone. And then I'm going to be using my warm palette. So I'm starting off with a slightly light colour and popping that all over the lid. And then I'm going to go in with some Fix Plus on this eyeshadow brush and go into Skin, which is a loose pigment. And I'm going to pop this over the top, just to warm it up a little bit. Then we're going to go into Max Cork, and I'm going to pop this into my crease. This is going to create a slight bit of depth, but not too harsh. And then we're going to blend it all out. And then I'm going to take some of my charcoal brown and I'm going to darken up my crease area a little bit. If you look at Kim Kardashian's eyes, they are quite deep. The crease is quite dark. So we're going to darken this up and then we're going to pop some of that skin pigment just over the top because we might have lost a little bit of colour. I'm then going to go into Antiqued and I'm going to smoke out the bottom lash line. This is quite heavily smoked out, which I like. It gives you a sultry look. And we're going to highlight with Dazzle Light. So I'm going to pop this on my brow bone and then I'm going to pop this in my inner tear duct as well. I'm then going to take my Black Track Fluid Line and I'm going to start off by putting this in my waterline and I'm also tight lining with this to give more of a sultry look. I'm then going to blend out the um, black track which has just fallen a little bit below my lash line 
and then we're going to do some wing liner. So we're going to start off just at the top and we're going to wing it out a little bit as close to the lash line as you can possibly get it. I'm then going to curl my lashes. This is really important because we are applying fake lashes. I'm also going to apply some of my Thick and Fast Soap and Glory Mascara just a little bit before we put our eyelashes on because then our natural lashes will blend with our fake lashes. So I'm going to go ahead with my Primark lashes. Yeah, they're my Primark lashes and I absolutely love them. These are the sultry eyelashes. So we're going to start off by just testing them. We're going to test the fit of them and see how much we need to cut. And then we're going to chop to the desired length that we need for our eye. Then we're going to pop the glue on. This is the Duo Lash Glue, which dries clear. And we're going to pop these on. After we've popped them on, we're going to cover the band line with a bit more of that black track fluid line. I'm then going to go in and I'm going to pop some mascara on, on the bottom and on the top just to blend a little bit. And I wanted quite full lashes so I've gone in with In Extreme Dimension. Then I'm going to go in with my Sculpt Powder. You can also use Harmony, you could use any contour powder that you would like. And we're just going to strengthen that contour that we did initially before with our concealer. Then I'm going to go in with Melba and I'm going to pop a little bit of colour onto the cheeks, bringing it up towards the temples. I'm then going to go in with my Global Glow Highlighter and we need that infamous highlighter. We're going to pop this on the top of our cheekbones, on the bridge of our nose, on our cupid's bow and of course our brow bone. So anywhere, all of the high points of our face. I'm then going to go in with Max Dervish Pencil because Kim Kardashian's lips look slightly pink in this photo. I'm going to fill them in. I'm going to line them and fill them in actually. And then I'm going to put on some of Max Faux lipstick. So this will last you a long time. I'm then going to pop on some Fix Plus and this is going to refresh our makeup and that is the makeup done. So then next we're going to do hair. My hair is Human Hair Extensions Online Hair. It's a 20 inch hair and it's in number 4. I love this hair because it's straight and I love the light brown colour because you know, you guys know that my hair isn't black. So the way in which I get it installed is like this. I know it's a little bit crude um, but I'm showing you guys my tracks because you wanted to see them. I get about 7 installed. They braid it onto my natural hair. But you can see how this hair blends naturally with my own hair, so I really recommend these hair extensions. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to start off by brushing out our hair, making sure that we don't have any knots because we can't deal with the knots. Then I'm just going to add some heat protectant because we don't want to burn or fry our hair. Next we're going to section our parting. Now Kim Kardashian's hair is parted deeply to the side. So I'm going to go with the same look, I'm just going to part it and then we're going to curl inwards with our Babyliss curlers. I've used these curlers many times before. So we're just going to curl inwards. Then we're going to hold the curl and we're going to pin it. So these are known as pin curls and we're going to do this to the whole of our head, curling inwards everywhere we go and pinning them, whether it be with these pins or whether it be with bobby pins. Then we're going to let the hair cool down. Once the hair is cool, it's ready to let down and you can see that it creates these gorgeous spiral curls, curling inwards towards the face. So we're going to let all of the hair down and this is what it looks like, it looks a hot mess. Now what you want to do is you want to finger comb that hair out. You could also use a brush, a white tooth comb brush. And we're going to back comb, so we're going to start styling, we're going to start styling to Kim Kardashian's hairstyle. And she has quite a big back comb at the front. And that is the hair done, really, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Love you.